what's up YouTube? So today's video is going to be a Q&A video. It's been a hot minute since I've filmed one of these, so I am excited. Thank you to everyone who left their questions on Instagram. I'm going to try and answer as many as I can. Uh, this shirt is my life, like literally my life. Uh, it's by Puppies Make Me Happy, I believe. For any of you who are wondering, they have a lot of cute stuff. Anyways, let's get into the questions. So, how do you keep your goals in mind and not binge on certain foods? I think the reason I don't binge is because I follow flexible dieting, which means I eat a lot of nutrient dense foods, but also fit in the things that I wanna eat on a daily basis. So, you know, if I wanna have a cookie or two or three, I can fit it in. And that keeps me from not feeling so restricted to the point where I want to binge out on everything in sight. I've definitely been at that point in my life where I was on kind of a very restrictive diet, sticking to like all like clean foods or whatever, and then I would totally binge out on the weekends. So if you're feeling like that's you, then maybe it's time to kind of switch up your diet, maybe try flexible dieting. I'm telling you, it stops binging. What do you do to keep your hair so healthy? I I'm not someone who likes to do my hair at all. I do not like styling it. I hate blow drying it. It's like the worst thing ever. I probably only style my hair once a week and then I ride that style out for a good five to seven days. My hair doesn't get oily or greasy or anything like that. So I can get away with it, but I do use dry shampoo to keep it like fresh and clean and whatever, smelling good. But yeah, I just don't use a lot of heating tools on my hair and that might be why it stays pretty healthy. What has been the hardest part of your prep so far? Overall, prep has been pretty enjoyable for the most part. There are definitely times where I'm like, dang, you know, that food looks good or dang, I want a glass of wine right now. I think what I mostly miss is like staying at home with my husband and making margaritas and just getting kind of tipsy and like playing board games together. Like that's kind of what I miss, but it's not that big of a deal. Like I don't miss drinking like that much. How do you get your makeup to stay so nice when you work out? That's very sweet of you. I do use a setting spray by Kat Von D, but I also don't really sweat that much. My friends think I'm like a freak of nature. Like I honestly just don't sweat very much. So my makeup kind of stays in place for the most part. I am working hard though, I just don't sweat. Would you recommend doing cardio or strength training first for someone who's trying to drop a couple pounds? You have to do both. Strength training and cardio go hand in hand. They're best friends, do them both. You shouldn't do one and then do the other. It's just, they work hand in hand. Don't slave away on the treadmill. You gotta get in the weight room too. Strength training leads to building lean muscle and that lean muscle actually burns calories even when you're resting. So think of it like that next time you're questioning if you should step inside the weight room because you should. How do you deal with negative thoughts about your body and avoid temptation to take this prep to the extreme? It took me a while to get to this point to where I felt like I was even mentally ready to take on something like a prep and competition. And I do not recommend anyone to start a prep if they are still having negative thoughts about their body or having you know those eating disorder thoughts and skewed images of yourself. Do not start a prep. Don't start it as a challenge to yourself. No, you need to be mentally prepared, mentally healthy to take on something like this. And that's the only reason I'm doing it because I knew I was ready. As far as dealing with negative thoughts about myself, I love myself. I love who I am. I love my body 95% of the time. Yes, there are days where I don't feel like I look my best, but that is anybody in this world. The majority of the time, I love myself. I know that there's no one else on the planet like me. No one else looks like me, has my body, has my mind, has my heart. I am my own person and that to me is beautiful and that is like unique and special and you should realize that too about yourself. It is totally okay to want to improve yourself but you still need to love yourself along the way. That is possible. It's taken me a while to realize that but it is possible. So you do not want to go into a healthy lifestyle or whatever you're, you know, start tackling your goals 
with this mindset of hating yourself. You need to do this because you love yourself. So just remember there's no one else on the planet like you and that is really cool. What's your favorite healthy food slash treat that you can't get enough of? I love oatmeal with berries and peanut butter. Like I love that shit, it's so good. I'm trying to lose weight in the legs, cardio or lifting? First of all, to anyone who's asking how to lose weight in certain areas, you cannot spot reduce. You can't be like, oh, I wanna lose fat here and I wanna lose fat here. That's just not how it works. It's an all over process. And usually your trouble areas are what goes last, which is why they're called trouble areas. And a lot of it has to do with genetics. It sucks, but it's true. So just keep that in mind. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna do a million squats and that's gonna lean out my legs. Like, you, it's just gotta be an overall process, including diet and cardio and strength training. So just trust the process, be patient, and those trouble areas will see results eventually. Do you think IIFYM should only be followed with weightlifting or does it make sense as a standalone diet also? I think IIFYM, if it fits your macros, for those of you who don't know, can be utilized at any stage of your fitness journey or life. It doesn't have to be only when you're strength training or whatever. It's just a form of eating that ensures you're getting everything that your body needs. Protein, carbs, fats, and also paying attention to micronutrients as well. It's not strictly for lifting. It's just a way to live a balanced and healthy lifestyle as well. Donuts or pizza, it's a hard one because they're very different. They're salty and they're sweet, but I would probably have to go with pizza. Favorite place to buy workout clothes. I like said I would never buy leggings from Lululemon because I couldn't justify it, but I caved in a while ago and got my first pair and like loved them so much. Ugh, it sucks. So now I get a lot of my leggings there, but I also do shop at Old Navy and Forever 21. So I balance it out for the most part, but I didn't realize Old Navy had so much fun stuff. You guys should check it out. And Forever 21 is amazing. Look online because they don't carry as much stuff in store, but online has so much cute, affordable things from Forever 21. Do you have a treat meal every week while on prep? How do you know when you are due for one and do you track it at all? As far as treat meals, I do not track them. They're called untracked meals in IIFYM world. But I have had one almost every week of this prep so far, and I've still been seeing good results, so I've been keeping them in. Uh, I might cut them out soon. It just really depends on how my body's doing. I really listen to my body, and when I know I need a treat meal is when it literally just wants one. It usually doesn't crave very many things, but when it, it wants one and it's feeling like a little tired or hungry, then I have one, and that's kind of just how I base it on. I really am in tune with my body like this entire prep. And no, I don't just have one because I feel like it. Like I really listen to my body and what it's telling me. I don't see a cookie on TV and be like, well, I'm gonna have a cookie. Like it's very, very uh, about how I'm feeling. That's different than how I'm thinking, if that makes sense. What are the reasons you decided to do your first show? I've always been interested in competing but never felt like I was mentally ready to do so. And now that I am mentally ready to do so, I'm doing it. I'm excited. I'm strong enough to do it without going to extremes, without going crazy. If you watched my last vlog, I kind of explained where my headspace is at, so check that out. I talk a little bit about that, get a little bit emotional. It's my 11 weeks out vlog, so check that out. Do you already have your bikini for your competition? I don't have it yet. I'm going to order it very soon, I'm very excited. I think I have a color in mind, but I'm not entirely sure. There's so many pretty ones out there, but I'm so excited to order it. I just bought some C4 pre-workout, and you mentioned you only take it sometimes before a workout. Is there a reason to not use it every day? The reason I don't use it every day is because I honestly don't feel like I need it every day, and you also don't wanna become dependent on a stimulant like that to get you through your workout. You wanna be able to just get your workout done without it, and eventually, if you use it every single day, it won't really have that much effect on you. 
and you won't get the benefits of it. So if you use it sparingly on the workouts that you just really feel like you need it, then it's going to give you that kick you need. Does that make sense? How many grams of sugar do you allow yourself to have in one day? I do not pay attention to sugar. I don't count it, I don't track it, I don't do anything like that. All I pay attention to are protein, carbs, fat, and fiber. And obviously getting micronutrients and vitamins and all that stuff. So, I don't pay attention to sugar though. Is it okay if you don't need to lose weight working out often but don't pay attention to what you eat? I think it's always important to pay attention to what you eat just for your overall health. Yeah, you might be the type of person who doesn't gain weight or is, you know, naturally thin, like my husband. He eats like crap and I've talked to him about it. Like, I'm like, you need to eat a little bit more healthier just because I need you to live longer. I need my kids to have like a dad for a long time. So it's, it's about your health and feeling good and not feeling sluggish by eating crappy foods. It's not just about losing weight, it's about feeling good. Do you eat every three hours or whenever? I eat whenever I'm hungry. I don't follow like every two hours, every three hours or whatever. I eat when I'm hungry, I eat late at night. I don't really follow any sort of schedule. What goes through your mind when you're vlogging in public? Like at stores and stuff. I get so embarrassed, like I, don't like vlogging in public. I could never be the person like, hi, hey, what's going on? Like in a group of strangers, like it would freak me out. So I try to make it very inconspicuous. How do you feel about consuming post-workout shakes as opposed to eating post-workout foods? I do whatever works with my schedule. If I'm on the go, I'll have a post-workout shake. If I know I'm gonna come home, I'll make some food. It really just depends on my schedule and as long as I'm getting that protein in, then that's all that matters. Do you ever try different forms of HIIT cardio? Yes, I love the kettlebell, I love the battle ropes, I love plyometric work, I love all of that stuff. I think it's really challenging and it gets me so out of breath. Cheetos or Doritos? Cheetos, flaming hot preferably. What's your best advice for cutting? To start slow and steady. You don't wanna do anything too drastic. You don't wanna like freak your body out. You have to be healthy. Like for the girls who wait so long and then it's summer and they're like, oh shit, I gotta like starve myself. Like no, be prepared. Go about it in a healthy, steady, slow way and you're going to get the best results ever and they're going to be long term as opposed to you just doing some fad diet or cleanse where you just lose water weight and then you're like gain everything back once you start eating again. You have to be prepared and do it slow and steady. Where is your ring from? The one on my right hand is from Tiffany's. It was my wedding day present from my husband. What is your favorite alcoholic drink? Preferably something on the healthier side. I love wine. I love it, so good. Favorite protein bar brand? I really like the Think Thin bars. They are my new favorite, but I also really like the Oh Yeah Nutrition bars. Oh my God, they're so good. I don't know, it's between those two. Do you do in-person training? Yes, I do in-person training in Phoenix at Mint Body, Arcadia location. What are you most excited about for your new house? Everything, I'm just so excited about everything. Like, I can't even tell you. I love the kitchen. I love our bedroom. I love our bathroom. Like, I love everything. I'm just so excited. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to say goodbye, but I hope I got to a lot of the questions. Hopefully I got to some of yours. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching.